February 2nd and today is my friend's wedding so what time is it it's 104 I need to be there in two and a half hours the only reason I'm running a little behind is because I had to go there and help set up this morning so I'm running a little bit behind but we're about to go from 60% to 100 so let's go ahead and get ready <laughs> Hi, honey. I'm about to get dressed right now. Hi. Say hi to the vlog. Hey, vlog. <laughs> Yay. All right, anyway, so we're doing good on time. I feel like I say that every time and then... But yeah, since I decided not to wash my hair, even though I really probably should have, but we're gonna make it work. Y'all, one day my edges are here, the next they're like, psych. Okay. Anyway. Okay, so y'all remember in the last vlog, I told y'all I got like the half up, half down ponytail situation. Let's see if it matches my hair, first of all. I got one B. I'm like a one B at the roots and then like a two at the bottom. You want to match your roots. Match the part that's showing. Well, that's how I do it. I don't know about y'all. This looks dark. Ooh, why is one be so dark all of a sudden? No, that's fine. It's real silky though. My hair is not. It's fine. It just looks so synthetic. What have I done? <laughs> okay. Oh no. Something's telling me my hair is going to end up like right back in a low bun because ma'am. I just don't know if that's gonna work. We're gonna do our best. Bro, it's fine. It's fine. Remember, think positive. All right, let's do a rough draft real quick. And then what we just throw this on there in the back? Okay. Right? Oh, I knew she didn't look so synthetic. I'm gonna cut it though. I think I'm gonna, wait, wait. Should I cut it? Yes, because it's an outside wedding. So I'm gonna cut it to like right here. All right, so I'm gonna do two braids back here and then I'll be right back. Back part taken care of. Now, really, it's just the front part that I'm like concerned about. Like when it smooths out, it smooths out pretty straight. This is not a good example, but it can it can smooth out pretty straight. Like there's this one time when I was completely like not straightening my hair or anything at all, no damage or nothing, where I got away with doing a straight ponytail. I'll put up the picture right here without straightening my hair because when I slick my hair back, it gets really straight. So let's see if he did it before. Do, 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 do. He will do it again. All right, y'all, we might be in trouble. We're in trouble, we're in trouble. I don't know why I forgot that I was black for a second, but me thinking my natural hair was gonna blend with this little ponytail. All right, honestly, it doesn't look. Oh my God, yes it does! No! What, what? I'm not, guys, for real, when I did it that one time, it looked good that one time. But this is not that one time anymore. What am I gonna do? <laughs> First of all, something, for some reason, my ponytail up top will not. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You know what this looks like? You know when you like your black daughter is in the cheerleading squad and for like the nationals, they need to do a certain hairstyle. Like, oh, do a high pony with a curly ponytail. And then like, <sighs> y'all been there? I've been there. I have definitely been there. You know, I had a feeling this wasn't gonna work out. Can I do something like this? What if I cut this? Oh my gosh, what have I done? I thought I was going somewhere with this. I really thought I was going somewhere with this. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's funny. All right, I have to think. I better, I have to think, I have to think.
today I am babysitting and I'm not babysitting my nephews and my nieces like I normally do I'm babysitting one of my friends kids best kid out there I don't want to show you too much of him because like he ain't my kid what you looking at hey buddy he's like who are you talking to all right come on lay down let's change your diaper Which one is goes in the front? Yeah. Oh, this says back. I guess. Ah, don't touch it. Don't move. Hands in the air. Freeze. All right. So if this is the back, then we're gonna lay this out like this here. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Let me get the wipe ready. It's like a. Ah. Don't move. Sorry. <laughs> Scare you. Okay. We got the wipe ready. Ready for action. So legs up. Please don't pee on me. We're gonna wipe. Oh God. We're gonna do a. Oh my God. Oh, I didn't do that right. Okay. Don't move, please. Just stay right. Oh. Sorry, I keep yelling. It's okay. It's not you, baby. It's me. Oh, jeez. Okay, we need another wipe for sure. Sheena, I am so sorry. I'm using way more wipes than I need to. Let's go. Yes, tell mommy. I'm so sorry. I'll buy her some more. Wait, let's use one more because there's still a little bit in there. Um, yeah. 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 Did that right? Yeah. yeah. Clean baby. Clean baby. Clean baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I have a high five? Wait. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Woo! Bro, this is the worst part of the movie. Oh my gosh. Stop. All right, bring the shoe. Shoes? Shoes, shoes, shoes. shoes. Where's my nose? Yeah. Show me my nose. Nose, good. Where's my chin? Chin. What about my ears? Ears, good job. Good job, high five. All right, well, let's go somewhere to the park, car wash, something. Yeah, this house. Hey guys, so update, my ear is clogged again. It's clogged again, it's this one. I noticed it last night like around 2 a.m. I like woke up and I'm like, why well, I can't hear out of my ear? So, um, Jonathan's per about to perform surgery on me. He just poured some hyd hydrogen peroxide down my ear and then it was getting better and then I messed it up. <laughs> And now we're about to use a water pick. Maybe I shouldn't show this in case this is bad. Is this bad? And we're gonna see if it works. I don't know why this happens to me continuously. I, I know I have pretty bad earwax, but like, it's just getting worse progressively. All right, so. Um, if it goes poorly and my wife can never hear again, then. <laughs> don't say that. Hey, stop looking. I'm scared. Cause I mean, I've had this done to me before, but not with this, but like, it kind of feels a little uncomfortable. They usually put like a cup right under my ear though. Should we get a cup? Because like the wax falls out. Ah! Get a cup! Ah! Painful? No. Okay. People on the internet revoke my license. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like something's coming out. Day today, so obviously I'm not gonna vlog while I'm there. But while I'm 
YouTube here, I just want to say, so I posted my last vlog last night, and you guys have been so supportive in the com- So supportive in the comments. And honestly, that's all I really needed to be like, this is why I do this, you know? This is, this is my community here. I mean, I was already feeling better, because you know, I, I recorded those things maybe like a week ago, two weeks ago. A lot of that footage was from January to February 8th today, but it still was a nice little like, you know, like a green check, like a nice reminder. You guys are the best. Y'all are just great. And I'm just gonna keep creating content. Stop texting me! I'm trying to talk. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys because like y'all touched me. Y'all touched me good. Can't take everything to heart, you know what I'm saying? So everything's fine. Definitely so happy I decided to post that video. Is there traffic? Why are there all these brake lights? Brake lights, brake lights. But yeah, so I'm gonna focus on driving so that I don't harm myself or anyone else. And I will get back with y'all tomorrow. Or later tonight, maybe tomorrow. All right. So I'm about to record a hair video. I just washed my hair. I'm about to blow dry it now, but uh-oh. Okay, got a little bit of conditioner in there, but we're just gonna call that leave-in conditioner. I wanted to show you guys my hair, how it looks out. The shower i had to redeem myself because in the last video when i was like oh i just washed my hair and when i took it out of the um the t-shirt from towel drying it looked insane now i'm like guys i promise my hair has moisture it's like sh yeah it's changed a bit since straightening my hair a lot but it's not as dry and disgusting looking as it was in that last video so i'm like let me go show y'all uh, is she okay she's all right she's all right she's doing all right not amazing but better than what it was looking like. I'm gonna put some leave-in conditioner in. Did I say this already? I'm about to blow dry my hair. So the tutorial I'm doing, I'm going to do a, a full in-depth tutorial on the two braids that I had the other day. I don't know if that video is gonna come out, like if I'm gonna end up putting it out. We're gonna see, fingers are crossed. But like I'm not a professional like feed-in braider, but like when I do it on myself, it comes out good. So I'm like, ah, uh, let's try. Let's give the people what they want, you know? So I'm gonna try. I can't make any promises that this is gonna be the best tutorial ever. And you know, like I can't see all the angles that I'm trying to get. I'm gonna do my best. All right, so talking about this is kind of weird because I don't like like bigging myself up, but I didn't know that a lot of you guys didn't know that I have the ability to sing. So yeah, I do sing. I'm on the praise team at church. Um, I grew up singing. You know, I feel like a part of being a pastor's kid is like, you better know how to sing. Like, you're a pastor's kid, you better know how to sing, girl. You better sing, praise, dance. Uh, you better know how to read the, the morning announcements. Like, you better do it all. So yeah, I grew up singing at the church that my parents went to. Like, I would do solos, I was on the choir. I do choir in school, all that. But also, um, I used to sing a lot, maybe not a lot, but I would like sing and play the piano on uh, my Instagram. And I've been meaning to bring that back. Um, I'll post a little like snippet of some of the stuff that I've done here while I do my hair. Sing, sing, oh bear and land Water is coming for the thirsty Though you are empty, I am the wind Drop in me and I will provide Can't play too much because I don't want to get copyrighted, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I've been thinking about bringing it back. The problem is I haven't played the piano in like, whew, a long time like almost two years i yeah i haven't played the piano in such a long time so i feel like dang do i still got it you know what i also want to bring back i really want to bring back suggestions you guys remember when i used to do suggestions videos like if you're newer you probably don't remember but i used to have a little segment called suggestions where you guys would like um either email me or dm me your like life issues like give me a synopsis of what's going on and then i would give you my suggestion on what to do the only reason i stopped is because i felt like i was starting to sound like a hater like no one ever actually said that I just be in my own head sometimes as y'all know But it's like every time somebody would give me like the scenario of them and their boyfriend. I'm like girl You need to leave him <laughs> I didn't want to turn into the girl who's telling everybody you need to leave your you need to leave him You need to leave even though a lot of the scenarios was, You know it was giving you need to leave but yeah, I was like, oh, I don't want to be that guy for that girl I'm like no, I'm trying to spread positivity. You're not like you need to leave him. You need to leave him. You need to leave him 
y'all need to break up, you know, or things like that. I mean, it wasn't always that, but a lot of the time it was. Girl, you looking kind of good once you back the thing up. Oh yeah, but let me know if you guys want me to bring those back. All right, so I'm gonna blow dry my hair. I did buy some black hair dye because I do want to dye my hair black because the brown, like, my hair is doing weird things again. It's like turning brown in some spots. Y'all know I got a nice, thick patch of grays at the top and I'm like, you're starting the show. You're telling on me. You're telling my age. Everyone thinks I'm 24, 25. Now because gray hair's coming out of my head. Make it stop. Hey, hey, I don't want it anymore. I have like eight gray hairs like right in the middle. And the thing with gray hair is like, they're not even like shh, quiet like with it. Like I do a slick back bun. My gray hairs want to make like the shape of an M. I'm like, sit down. Where are you going? Like, they want attention so bad. I'm like, you're already a complete different color from the rest of my hair. Why you gotta stand up? Be raising your hand and everything. Like, are you in worship? Put your hand down. Slick back with the rest of the hair. I'm just saying, always be doing the most. Like, relax. It's the hair back here for me. You always been good to me back here. Anyway, I'm gonna do my hair, do my little hair tutorial. Fingers crossed, prayers up that it turns out good because I really wanna be posting consistent. But if you're watching this, by now you would know because I either posted it or I didn't, so. If it's up, go watch it. If you haven't, if it's not up, then shh, it's never happened. Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. The weekend is here. It's 8.43 a.m. I'm on my way to get my nails done. I haven't got my nails done since our wedding, which was like nine months ago. <laughs> I usually like do press-ons, but for some reason I had the desire to get my nails done. And I hate getting my nails done because you have to be at the like nail salon for like two hours with a stranger in your face. So I feel like it's like a really big waste of two hours of my time, you know? But thankfully my homegirl, one of my good friends, she's a nail artist now. She's a nail tech and she's not like, oh, just starting out. Like I need people to help me build. No, she's actually really good. So going to her house right now, she's gonna get me right. It's gonna be great. Uh, don't we love when we have friends who are worth something? You know, like friends who add to your life in some way, shape, or form. So I'm gonna be basic and go with this. I mean, it's not that basic, at least it's pink. I was gonna do like a whole Valentine's Day set, like have hearts and like, to, you know, all that cute stuff, but Valentine's Day is in three days. Like I should've did this a week ago. You know, it's like when you have Christmas nails and then it's like six days after Christmas and you're like, all right, get these off me. Fix my ring, ooh, come on, cute. I just got something simple because I am simple. I am not with press-ons anymore. I am with whatever these are, Gel X or whatever, yes. I just posted another video. That's two videos in one week. Who is she? I don't know. Jess, that's you? That's you, girl? That's you in it? Oh my gosh, you scared me. <laughs> hey, husband. Girl, look how fine he looked. Boy, you fine, come here. Give me some shugsies. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her. That's why the camera not on me. Yes, it is. It wasn't. It was like a black. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. We have an emergency. We have an emergency. I'm talking about call 911 type of emergency. So, me as a supportive wife, right? What is that? Oh, not my bandana falling off. So, like a week ago, Jonathan came to me, my husband. He's like, I think I wanna cut down my beard. I'm like, okay, yeah, do your thing, 21. You know, cause my husband got a lot of beard. Well, not like a lot, but like, you know, a good amount. So if you cut it down, not bad. And I was like, I can't tell you no, because I'm like, how many times have I big chopped and you were supportive, you know? Like, I'm sure it's not his favorite look for me. He's used to me with long hair and I'm like, ooh. Now I'm here, and he, you know, still love me. Not saying I don't love my husband. Of course, always have, always will. He look like Ray Campbell. Y'all seen Sister Sister? Why he look like Ray Campbell right now? Like, cause he got up here still going, and right here is gone. <laughs> Ray Campbell had that. Oh, you lucky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you trying to just just got the camera trying to make fun of you. You lucky boy. It's gone, y'all. <laughs> is that your brother? Yeah. Um, I was about to say you need to call your brother. Yeah. You're a nice you guy. Know, you know what this time? Ah, I don't know. We need to shape it. Yeah. I feel like if you shape it, it'll look all right. Yeah. You want to try it? No. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh. 
<laughs> it's okay, babe. You know, know like I'm in a buddy cop movie? I tell you about Ray Campbell. You know who Ray Campbell is? Ray Campbell, who's that? <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna exfoliate his skin because, like he said, I haven't seen the light of day. <laughs> it don't look that bad right there, I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna be able to get so many hairs, I love like that. ingrowns, Boy, because of this. Like, like extractions. Like, it's gonna be crazy. Does this feel good? Mm, it feels weird. Like, this part of, like, these parts of my face have not been touched. I know. In, like, <laughs> years. That is insane. Ooh, it's dirty. It is. <laughs> That's so crazy. All right, you guys, I'm back with an update. So after the shock factor went down and he fixed his mustache a little bit, my man looked kind of fine. I don't know about y'all, but he's giving Michael B. Jo Can I say that? Michael B. Jo Hallelujah. Yeah, he looked good. He still need to get shaped up a little bit, but I'll take two of those. You know what I'm saying? Come here, Daddy. So anyways, the other day, somebody asked me, they're like, I'm sorry to hear about more of the home updates. One thing I'll say for sure, the money is, is adding up, okay? So, let's go back into the kitchen really quick. So, as you guys can see, you guys know already how this side of the room is much darker than that side of the room, and I realized it's because our patio has a top. The reason why this is black is because we thought it'd be a good idea <laughs> during Christmas to light a fire pit in here, and once when you first light the fire pit, it goes like all the way to the ceiling. I thought it was over for us, I'm not gonna lie. Let me give y'all a better view. <laughs> like you see how over there is a whiter, that middle spot, black. It was smoked out. I was like, oh, so we die on Christmas? But love that for us. But back to my point. So I think we're gonna do a clear, maybe, possibly do a clear mesh or screen on top instead of a bold one. Yeah, when we go out there, we're not gonna have shade, but I will take having a brighter room over here over having shade outside. If you gonna be outside, you gotta expect some sun, you know what I'm saying? So that will eventually be done. Trees getting cut down very soon. New gate, new gates happening for sure. Look at this gate on that side. I think I showed y'all this already. So we are going to take that gate down and then we're gonna get more of this gate. So with our HOA, we can only have a certain type of gate. So we have to have gates like this. We can't get too creative, so. We're gonna replace it with the lighter gauge instead of that, whatever that is. So that's one. Um, yeah, I want to change the floors to like a wood, like a brown woodish color. Not necessarily this type of wood, but like, you know, the wood that's in the homes. I'll put some pictures of inspo, but floors, goner, gone. See ya, sayonara. Let me turn the light on for this. So you know how I was saying I wanted to knock down this wall to open up the kitchen? So we had somebody come here. We had a contractor come here to give us a price of what it would be. Take the kitchen from this wall and put it on this back wall so that we could just have one big open room instead of two rooms. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he said that that was gonna be $80,000. I was like, I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. So the kitchen is staying right here. It's staying right here. Honestly, the kitchen is beautiful anyway, so I'm like, you know what? If I'm about to spend $80,000 on something, it's gonna be a down payment for a house that already looks the way I want it to look. So I was like, all right, scratch, move in the kitchen. I do wanna update it a little bit. This rug, goner. Gotta go, gotta go. First of all, I don't know if you can tell on camera. You probably can. You see how this patch here is darker than the rest of the carpet? It's because people will always step on their shoes the carpet with their shoes like this and by the time they reach here I'm like ah, ah shoes off and they come back I know I could clean it but this carpet um it sheds a lot it sheds a lot it's not my favorite it sheds way too much I thought I could just vacuum it a few times and it would get better but it hasn't gotten better there's literally carpet sheddings all over the stairs it, it gets upstairs it's everywhere so that's gotta go still love this couch couch is probably gonna stay that's probably gonna stay, stay, stay. I have to figure out what I wanna put on these walls. They're way too bare for my liking. And it just makes the room look like it's not quite complete. I feel like once we have some stuff on the walls, it'll feel more complete. So for over here, like paintings or shelves or something on the walls, new rug, and I'll be satisfied with over here. So y'all tell me if I'm crazy, I had an idea. I think, ooh, come on light, over here. I don't know, something Something makes me want to move the dining room table over here. Dining table over here, and then move this couch to this wall, and then have two other like sofa chair, they're like comfortable chairs here, and like a coffee table in the middle to make this more of a like a meeting room. Not meeting, but like, you know, we have our Bible studies over here. I feel like it'd be really comfy 
We had a couch. It, actually, I want to get rid of this couch, but we'll talk about that later. So, like, uh, the long couch on this wall, and then, like, you know, coffee table, and two, like, nice, comfortable chairs. You know, maybe, like, a nice mirror here. Something like that. I just feel like over here is not being utilized very well. At this point, it's kind of the mail room, and I feel like this space is so nice. You know, from here you can see the stairs. Like, I feel like this space is so nice, but we're never over here. It's not utilized. I feel like we need to make this space a little more cozy. This is really cute. Maybe I'll bring that over to this wall. Like, it's really cute, but like, it's just like a waste of space. Like, it's just, like, there's so much space over here, but like, it's just not, I don't know, not being used. And I know there's rooms and homes that are just like never walked into, but our house, we don't have enough space to be having rooms that no one ever uses. I, absolutely not. These, these need to be replaced for sure. I don't know when, uh, by the way, by the way, this is not like, oh, I'm doing all this this weekend. This will be through the course of the year, maybe next year, like this is not all today. So yeah, I'm just saying all the things that I have up here in my brain. So yeah, these getting replaced. Um, oh, I want new doors. New doors, I said that already, but like more modern doors. Bring the space to life. Another thing, y'all, don't hate me. You can if you want to. I hate myself for, th for this, but I need to wait for the light to, there we go. I think I'm gonna paint the walls again. <laughs> the thing is, the walls, the paint color that it was originally, I still wasn't gonna keep that, but I am gonna do something kind of close to it. But I needed to, I needed to see the walls white for a second so that I could see like I can get the vision of what I want. So I kind of want, I don't even know the color, the name of the color, but I, I have it up here. And I think that would really make the place feel a little more polished and like put together as well. I don't know if I'm feeling the white walls anymore, but I think I'm gonna do the floors before I do the walls, just so I can see if it's gonna match and look good together. So that's another thing. All right, so with all that being said, of course, like I said, I want new doors up here, probably change this out too, but with all that being said, this is gonna be most likely our first project. So there was a bed in here. This was our guest room, but we actually gave it away. So now we need to revamp the guest room. So what we're thinking is doing like a black accent wall up here. And then we're gonna use this as like a guest room slash a second, hey again girl, slash second TV room. Cause we do have like watch parties and things like that. But sometimes the living room does not have enough space. So now we'll have another room up here where people can come kick back, probably have like a little cooler down here. We're gonna have a couch that turns into a bed so it can be a guest room slash like a really cool vibe room. So that's gonna be a good vibe. I can't breathe. Jonathan's in here right now. I don't know what we're doing in this room. Right now, I just don't know. Like in my head, we're saving it for a possible in the future, future baby room, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then y'all not going in this room, but we gotta redo our bedroom also. So, so that's all the updates I have in my head right now. Um, yeah, you know, actually it's crazy that next month will be a whole year since I've lived here. And I'm just saying I, because Jonathan moved in after we got married, he moved in in May. But I moved in this place in March, we closed in February, and then I moved in in March. I can't believe all right, like that was the quickest year of my entire life. Like that was already a year, that's insane. So, see, what did I really do within that year? We changed the stairs, we all know how that went. Changed the stairs and we painted, and then we did where is it? that wall. For the second year, I really wanna turn things up a little bit more. Yeah, so those were all the home updates that only one person asked for. I'm not gonna be like, everyone's been asking, only one person asked, and there's my answer. So, you know, I'll leave the 99 just to get the one, and it's okay. So yeah, we're actually gonna run to like Lowe's or Home Depot right now, and probably head to the mall, and kind of have a good Saturday, spend it with each other, loving on each other, my man with his, New look, you know? Love on my man. Oh, I like it. Hey. Hey. Like all of our like room doors. So these would be for those cabinets or pantries that I was, what are those closets? Closets that I was saying need to be replaced. Nothing fancy, this, the this is, closet is this is it. This is all we need, something simple. Y'all see the shelves? I need these. I also really like these. Like, I was usually never a fan because like you gotta keep the inside like real cute. You see the floor? Okay. You gotta like kind of keep the inside organized because they can kind of see it. But like, I think it looks real good. 
That's an option. Oh, this is the hood? Oh, this is the hood. I don't like that though. You guys, floors. The apartment floors. Which ones? Which ones you don't like? Oh, no, no. I don't want gray. I want brown because like brown is warm, warmer. Yeah, the one you had in your apartment. In my first apartment. The Both second one. Was, no, the second one was brown. I love the, the ones in my second apartment. I don't I don't love the gray ones because it makes the house kind of cool. I mean, it's cute for other people, but it's not for us. I like these tones over here. You like these? I like these more than okay. those ones. But you don't want them. I don't know. It's not popping to me right now. No, those? Oh my gosh. Those are good. I like those. Those I, are the best ones up here. I would do some things for those. I like that. Oh, uh, that's like two, that's like twenty five hundred. You can't tell me he don't look more like like look no look forward. Stop, look bro. To you can get me roasted. Bro. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> you do. Am I Lori Harvey? I'm halfway there. Come on, no, Michael. Bro, I'm ugly. You I'm do ugly. like the knockoff, the great value. Yeah, great value for sure, bro. <laughs> don't do me. No, you're sexy. People have been in it. Please don't make fun of me. <laughs> <That's my wife. laughs> you look good. But people have always told they me that you look Michael like him. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my husband he look good. He's getting blocked. I think my apartment had this one, and this one's. There's no price. Oh yeah, three. It's in the threes and fours. Mm mm. We over here went in the ones and twos. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I kind of like this one too. It looks kind of like. Uh, I don't know. Guys, I'm not a passenger princess today. Jonathan is the passenger prince. You can't see him, but he is there. How does it feel to be passenger prince? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Ladies, treat your man to a passenger prince day. One get out of jail free card. Oops. You guys, I got a little package at the front door from the box. I, it looks like it's flowers, but I'm a, I'm a little, I'm like kind of confused, but not. Hold on, let me put y'all down. Flowers! Look, wow, these are like, whoa. <laughs> not these being half the size of me. Hold on. Where'd the scissors go? I had scissors. <laughs> oh, they're pink. Oh, I love it. Gosh, what a big old box. Well, obviously we would um we would cut this. And there's a lot of leaves on it too. I don't know if I said this already, but Jonathan's best friend, he his dad owns a flower shop or something like that. He owns, I think he owns like a flower shop. So like you, this is like giving straight from the garden to eat it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make it work because I don't want these to stay in a box all night. I'm gonna put them in. Oh, that's I like that. Now me being so impressed by one little flower. <laughs> okay, all right. You know what? We gonna talk about something because y'all not about to, y'all not about to play. Uh, 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 uh. Y'all not about to play with me. Today's Monday. Yesterday was Rihanna's concert with a splash of football before and after. And I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling the negative comments. I'm not feeling it. Hold on, let me get the box. <sighs> These flowers need some surgery. When Rihanna first got on stage, I, as most of us, were just thinking, oh, you know, postpartum or whatever, like baby weight, no big deal. I didn't want to go ahead and think immediately she was pregnant because I know what that feels like. So I was like, oh, maybe she doesn't shed the baby weight yet. I'm proud of her for going up there, embracing her body. We're not gonna speculate, who cares, whatever. First of all, I honestly, I didn't even realize how big of a Rihanna fan I was until she started looking at me with those eyes. I was like, are you looking at me? Is it me? I was like, oh my gosh, I 
we had a good time. Like, I was there with all my friends. I think that might have been the reason why I was blind to the fact that she wasn't really giving us what the people really wanted. I saw the I was just like, Rihanna girl, we missed you. I'll take whatever you you out here giving right now. I was not really tripping that much. But after it was over, I'm seeing people say a lot of stuff. And now I will say, I'm not here to say that people cannot share their opinions. And all of your opinions don't always have to be positive. It's like, that's not realistic. Everyone's not gonna like everything and that's fine. People can share like, oh, it wasn't my favorite. But the part that's probably bothering me the most is when people are comparing her pregnancy to her pregnancy performance to Beyonce's that part's grinding my gears a little bit y'all can say wasn't my favorite performance I was expecting more I mean one thing we're not gonna do is act like it wasn't hit after hit after hit even me like I said I didn't even realize how big of a Rihanna fan I was until last night I was like dang I know all her songs whoa but for people to be like her performance was boring that's fine you can feel that way but to be, after they find out that she's pregnant and being like, it's not an excuse. It's like, first of all, if I'm on my period, you know, y'all not getting a performance from me. The girl is carrying a life and she's how many feet above ground on the little glass thing? Y'all, I don't know if it's because I'm someone who knows what it's like, but I just hate when people are just like, like, why are you speaking? Like, why are you talking? Like, can you do what she did? Because the fact that she was even on that little plexiglass, just circling around, and that thing was moving, that thing was shaking. I'm not pregnant and I couldn't do that. And I know half the people talking couldn't do it either. Now obviously, that's not our job. So people are gonna be like, well, it's not my job. And you're right, it's not. But I think the part that's bothering me most is the whole pregnancy thing. It's like, I don't care if she's pregnant, she should have turned it down. I've seen people say, well, she should have turned it down then. First of all, how long ago did they ask her to do this? She probably didn't even know she was pregnant yet. And she probably didn't want at the end to be like, ah, just kidding. After they announced it, I'm sure there's a clause that you can't just be like, oh, I'm pulling out. After they done spent millions or however much money on promotion i know people are always like oh just ignore them but sometimes if you don't call people out on their foolishness if you're always ignoring people's foolishness they're never going to know that what they're saying is so i'm here to let y'all know not all y'all but some of what y'all were saying was stupid. Like, do you guys really think that every pregnancy is the same? Like, just because Bri Brianna, what's her name? Sorry. Just because Beyonce can perform while she's pregnant? Th I'm glad Beyonce had a fantastic pregnancy. Maybe Rihanna's not having the same pregnancy. Maybe she was feeling nauseous. But she said, you know what? I'm doing it for the fans. Just for them to turn around and slap her in the face. Oh my god. On Black History Month? Oh my god. Women bashing women. And I'm not just saying that to the people who are like, oh, I, pr I wanted more. It's to the people who are ODing on, I don't care that she's pregnant. She could have did better. It's like, uh-uh. I hope y'all don't have the same standards for me because I'm gonna let you right know right now. I'm gonna let you know right now when I'm pregnant, feet up, hands behind my head on the couch. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, this girl's baby is much more important than y'all wanting me to do a little backflip on stage. Now, could she have done a, you know, brought in some musical artist appearances? Of course, that would've been nice. But we, you just never know why it didn't happen. Like, there, I'm sure, maybe there's a reason. Maybe she's just like, hey, I ain't been here in so long. I want to do it on my own or maybe nobody was available or maybe other people were like they're not paying I don't want to do it. We don't know. You guys always have to remember that you don't know the whole story to everything. You just don't know. Why didn't she do this? Why didn't she do that? I was expecting this. She probably very much wanted to have something something but she probably just couldn't. Every y'all like everyone needs to realize I'm not gonna say y'all no more because it couldn't have been my subscribers. It couldn't have been y'all comparing her pregnancy to another and saying it doesn't matter that she's pregnant. I know it wasn't y'all. I just feel like everybody needs to relax. I will say I was kind of sad that she didn't come out with the mm -hmm. I don't know the words. It hits. It's a different type of hit. Anyways, that's all I really wanted to say. I'll get off my little soapbox. But, you know, I'm just realizing that I'm really just standing up like I'm anti-bullying, okay? Jonathan and I always say, if we find out that our child is at school bullying somebody else, oh my gosh, if I get a phone call that my kid's bullying somebody, like you taking somebody's lunch money or you're making fun of some girl because she wore the same shoe. <laughs> you get in the whooping of your life. You get in the whooping of your life. 
not tolerated. I don't, I don't wanna say I got bullied, but I did get made fun of a lot when I was younger for being dark skinned because dark skin was not the cool thing back then. Yeah. I got made fun of a lot for being dark skinned. Even by family members, somebody in my family would call me a quarter past 10 instead of like calling me midnight because midnight was getting played out. So I'd be like, hey, quarter past 10. I'm like, <laughs> So yeah, I hate it. I hate it so much. I just be wanting to stand up for people because I hate trying to hurt people's feelings for no reason. Uh, I don't like that. Y'all, I mean, are these not so pretty? I don't know if I did the best job with um arranging them. Like, what's going on over here? What's the dip about, you know? But, oh my God, I just, I just love the color. Valentine's Day is tomorrow, and though he has not asked me yet to be his Valentine, I think this ring will suffice for the rest of my life. I think it's automatic asking. I'm just kidding, it's not that important. Speaking of love, is love in the air or what? Not another wedding invitation, y'all. My friends are out here tying the knot. These men are making honest women out of my friends and we love to see it. Like, I mean, I think that I have I've had one of the coolest wedding invitations, but they this one definitely tops it. I don't wanna show it because like, I don't have the address. I mean, it's pr it's very similar to what we had, but it's the packaging for, uh, <laughs> very cute. Sorry, I'm always yelling. I need to stop yelling at y'all. Dom and Ryan, the Wallaces, will be there. You gotta get a new pair of kitten heels, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. So I just took my hair out of those two braids because those braids were struggling. They were struggling, but I wanted to do something different for Valentine's Day anyways. Not that different because I don't have that much time and I have to wash my hair tomorrow for a sponsorship. Girl, I want to show you guys my Valentine's Day outfit. By the way, all of this stuff came fresh out the box. You know, I got my little kitten heels on. All of this stuff is from Amazon. I just took these out of the packaging even though I got it like four days ago. I've been meaning to try it all on and I hope it all fits. But I think this is real cute. It's giving hot pink. It's giving kitten heels. It's giving black with a little bit of slit. It's giving sophisticated bag, not name brand, but could be if you put a little YSL on there. Hey, your girl is ready. Also, you guys, if you know what this is, well, obviously, it's waxing beads. I've come to the conclusion that I am stronger than I thought because I ran out of time. So I gave myself a wax today. It did take an hour and uh, it took an hour and 15 minutes whereas the girls at the shop do it in 15 It took an extra hour, but the very first time I did it like three years ago I haven't touched it since it took me four hours because I was like I just can't do it Like I had to really talk to myself But this time I did it an hour and 15 and now that I feel like I've gotten better at it I'm about to be saving me $30 a month. So let me tell you how the morning has went so far. Right now it is 4.30. We have dinner reservations at 6.45 at Fleming. So we need to be out here actually in like an hour. Oh, Jonathan's coming upstairs right now. I wanna show you guys what Jonathan surprised me with this morning. So this morning he had like this right as I opened the door. It was like on the floor. As soon as I opened the door, it was I love you. And then down the steps he had my forever with my favorite candy. And then he had Valentine at the very end. Very cute, isn't this so cute? So cute, so I got more flowers. Side note, actually very funny, these pink flowers are not from Jonathan, they're actually from his friend. But you know, it's because his dad has a flower shop. But I think that was so sweet, like, he didn't have to do that, but that was really nice. But my baby got me these and these, so I had to put these in a vase, but we actually don't have any more, so we're gonna have to pick one up. And yeah, I'm gonna eat this and we're gonna start getting ready. This is the ponytail. I'm putting in just like a low ponytail. It's much longer than what I'm used to, but I think I'm gonna be a little flashy today since it's, you know, V-Day. So I'm gonna do my hair off camera because I only have an hour to get ready and I'm not about to play with it. So I'm gonna see you guys when I'm dressed and ready to go. So much joy, you get 